गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबॉडी दिस इज संगीता सक्सेना एडिटर एविएशन एंड डिफेंस यूनिवर्स गेटिंग यू लाइव फ्रॉम डीएसएआई इन लंदन आई एम हियर विद द इंडिया पवेलियन एंड आई हैव विद अस स्वर्ण इंफ्राटेल प्राइवेट लिमिटेड अ नेम व्हिच आई हैव हर्ड फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम बट आई एम श्योर हैज अ ग्रेट बैकग्राउंड बिकॉज़ इन फ्रंट ऑफ मी आई हैव अ ब्रिगेडियर फ्रॉम द इंडियन आर्मी ऑफ कोर्स रिटायर्ड ही इज एब्सोल्युटली हियर टू टेल अस ऑल अबाउट व्हिच इज गोइंग टू हैपन एट ऑन द लास्ट डे ऑफ द शो हियर and it must have been a great footprint i'm sure so we welcome you brigadier anand mehra who is also senior vice president for the group welcome sir thank you thank you very much so it's wonderful to see you here i keep covering the shows and i'm seeing swan for the first time at dsei and uh, will you tell us what swan is all about uh the swan group was uh, started in 2005 by mr ajay kumar gupta and since 2005 down these 18 years we have grown in a very rapid manner and the various domains in which we work now are defense telecom industrial solutions uh, retail automotive and the railways and uh, our business with the defense started in 2018 which is now growing very rapidly and uh, so far we've confined ourselves to the indian market but we now venture out into the global market that's great sir and the fact that you are here in dsei means that you're looking forward to an export in the european uh, continent do you already have a footprint in the export market sir yes we have a big footprint in the export market but that is primarily in the telecom sector so far as the defense sector is concerned we do not have a footprint yet uh, but we do believe that with the kind of products that we are making and with the kind of quality that we are producing we shall have an international market in the years to come and so i would like to understand from you what are these products the products that we primarily make today are shelters of all types starting from the simplest to the most complex Uh, the best shelters that we make for defense use are the EMI EMC shelters uh, which are approved by the concerned authorities in India and we believe meet NATO standards uh, these shelters are already in use in the Indian army recently provided and they've been very successful in the field so this is the product that we wish to market in the initial stages so that's great brigadier sahab in addition to this what well in addition to shelters we are also doing emi emc enclosures uh, primarily for electronic equipment switches tactical switches and racks telecom racks and uh, since you are here and looking for an export market is england your uh, only target or uh, what which other continents what else is the export plan like you see we like to enter various areas where these items are required these are specialist items not everyone manufactures them and we do realize that every army every defense force requires these kinds of products and therefore we'd like to go to those areas where they don't manufacture these items or they are not getting them from anywhere else we do believe that uh, the kind of quality we produce and the costs at which we produce them shall get us good markets and uh, one thing which i would like to understand from you is that the facilities are uh, totally in in india so uh, where do you have them and uh, are they split over various places uh, how how do you manage the complete supply chain so yeah. just tell us something about that okay uh, i can proudly claim that our products are entirely made in our own plants bulk of our plants are in haryana in an area called palwal we have a plant in rajasthan we also have a plant in haridwar and we acquired 25 acres of land in the up defense corridor near jhansi which we are developing as an r&d and manufacturing hub for defense products and your supply chain is all indian 
yes. for the small uh, parts, ancillaries and all. Oh that. yes, our supply chain is uh, primarily, very substantially from within India. They are indigenous sources, very few items come from abroad. And so your uh, items are all for the army or are they also for the homeland security, the navy and the air force? Oh yes, we've supplied uh, items to the navy. Uh, we are also now going to supply more advanced uh, systems to the air force. And of course we have a huge civil market for our other areas of work. But that's wonderful, sir. And uh, I, you know, here at uh, DACI, we look forward to the Indians uh, who are representing the nation at the event. All the, you know, very best we wish them. And we hope that they do a lot of business, sir. And the next time when we meet at Euro Saturday, or before that in India and Def Expo, I'm sure you'll have lots more to tell us. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. I'd like to add that this has been our first uh, international exhibition in which we have participated and we are very happy with the kind of response that we've got. We've had many visitors who've taken interest in our products and have promised to revert to us with their queries and their uh, requirements and we hope to develop this and of course it has uh, you know kind of encouraged us to participate in various future international exhibitions also. Thank you very much. I think that's a great thing to happen because when you're here for a first time in a foreign market, it takes time to stabilize. And if you've got so much of an interaction and reaction, I think that is just wonderful. It's good for you, sir. Good for India also. Thank indeed, you very indeed. much, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Very Thank much. you very much indeed. Sangeeta, it's been a pleasure talking to you.